Ah, uh, space. That's why we're here, right, guys? You enjoy the experience. You enjoy the idea of exploration, of being in command of your capital ship and seeing your fleet. Yes, all of these guys, brave soldiers. Of the, yeah, you see the asteroids, you see all of the little crap you can blow up and mine, you see the planets, all of this is real, all of this is there, you can actually go to those ships, you can actually, yeah, that's an interesting one, that's a raider, you get it from the, um, the Kraken, uh, no, Kraken, or is it, Juggernaut, this thing, well, so, yeah, folks, welcome to the channel, as always, if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing, if not, let me know in the comments, hey, you suck, go to hell, yeah, okay, <laughs> thank you for watching, nonetheless, uh, I haven't been out here in a while, and it really helps in the sense of immersion, like, yes, there is uh, a physicalized ship that you're on right now, you're there, you're on the outside, you could jump, and I don't know, I haven't done that in a while, but how far could you go? I think people have gone, like, yeah, jumping into the planet. Anyway, not intended of doing that right now, let's go back inside. Yeah, yeah probably gonna be here whoa there you go yeah back inside my little room making it better little by little I can customize my character over here a uh, bunch of storage but now I want to go with you yes th things that actually work a teleporter so as to not waste time when I just don't feel like wasting time when I know where I'm going I've already discovered I have the the, the hollow table that actually works and I can actually see the planets in this system and check them out if I want to go uh, you know, take a closer look or not well that's gonna be all on me I have my home base I, ha I have my actual physical home that I can just go back to instantly and teleport back to my capital ship and my fleet send my fleet out in missions but no now I wanna adventure solo I wanna go on my merry way because in this case, I want to go find a new ship. Yes, not buy in the website. No, not even buy with in-game money, which you can do. Yes, you just have to talk with other, you know, other adventurers and see what you like to buy. No, I'm just going to get in this thing here, which I like. This is maybe my most used ship. This is quite nice. Um, let's, yeah. It's a damn nice capital ship, is it not? The S-Class Juggernaut. Yeah. And my fleet. I earned this one also. I didn't spend a single cent, real money or otherwise. This was all conquered and combat and stuff like that. Trench, yeah. So those are the shields. Uh, anyway, so what I want to do now is I want to go find a new ship. Something along the, the lines of this one, I want to get something that kind of looks like this. Which, I like these Sentinel ships. I have some of the exotics that I showed you guys in another video. But the Sentinel seem to be like a more updated kind of ship. Um, and for that, I have something that I haven't tried before. So let's go do this together. Uh, the first thing we have to do is find a... What's it called? Like a, a resonance system? So the systems that you see a little circle on, those are the ones I have already visited. Uh, the distant resonance, what? No, water would be if I'm looking for something green. Dissonant system, yes, that's, that's the name. Dissonant system, 139 light years away. Pirate system. Uh, pirate means good economy. You have a good chance of finding exotic systems when hanging around stations and so on. Um, yeah, yeah, that's definitely something we could do. I I'm likely to just drop into a, ca uh, a fight, and I'm not looking to get in into that. If you want to get yourself a juggernaut, that's the kind of system you have to jump into, the, the, the skull one. So as to know if it's a, uh, what, what kind of economy or if it's a pirate system or not, you need a scanner. The, the economy scanner installed in your system. Especially the first time you do this in a while, you're very likely to just drop into a fight or something. Well, apparently not this time. Okay, that's... Wow, that's a nice planet, man. 
that is a nice looking that's probably a paradise planet rainy planet okay that's interesting this is a nice looking system what is this place right yeah everything unknown I could bring my fleet here but no, let's get back to what I was I was looking to do here whoa something is jumping towards it so yeah let's take our time this uh, let me show you usually when you have the well not usually when you have a pirate system you will always have a pirate station these are not normal ass stations no th this is where the, the the criminal elements hang around so if you want to do like criminal missions and so on this is where you drop by this is also maybe the best place to find yourself uh, a nice high class um, a ship you're gonna be seeing more of a class s class ships drop by uh, just hang around here and you have the you know you, you have the the people to trade with my language skills are I guess like getting a little bit better you have the the suspicious uh, modules so these are a lot more likely to be pirate ones and they may be crap or they may be awesome it really depends on how lucky you are um, you buy them you try them out and this is how you get the best ones. These are no doubt whatsoever the best, more powerful, yeah, systems you, you can get. Let me, let me just show you what I mean by that. I just bought that one, right? I have my ship over there. I don't even have to go over there. I can just install it from here. But let's say I install this thing here. And because I have way too many of them already installed, it's not allowing me to place another one. But if... I check it out with the other ones that I see for example this one this one only adds this one adds a 227 light years warp efficiency 100 percent this one adds 175 years a warp efficiency also 100 percent I'm not even sure what what is that 100 percent efficiency I'm not using anything when I'm using that thing well this one gives me a lot more range so if I would be interested in having more range I could replace it with this one. I always keep in mind to have them all pulled together. Without them working, I'm limited to 125. But uh, if I install this one, or actually if I even just remove it, like I do now, I go back to, well, the insane range that I already have. But this would be, you know, slightly better module in that way. Um, yeah, nothing is dropping by. Sometimes you have to wait a while. Sometimes it's nuts. Sometimes it ships all over the place. Oh, maybe sometimes you have to relog. Anyway, with each one of these, you also get the option of checking out a, a different multi-tool. Uh, nothing special here. C-class, basic. There you go. There you have a ship. C-class, right? Nothing great. Anything showing up? Uh, so if you want to buy it, you talk with a pilot, you can trade with these guys, sometimes they have stuff you don't have in store. That's kind of it, let's go find ourselves our, our ship, right? Let's go find ourselves a nice, uh, a nice ship. Or not, maybe it's not all that great. Use the echo locator to trace harmonic origins. Yes, I could do that, that would be a typical way. I'm very tempted. I mean, what are they? All tropical and freaking awesome planets? <laughs> I'll check that for sure before I leave. No, I want to check this thing that I got at some point in one of the adventures. Again, the cool thing of these are not just things you buy, uh, you're not even get. No, you come across these things. So this is Carrier AI Fragment, a single splinter of a colossal mainframe of the heart of a sentinel capital ship. God damn it, I don't even remember how it got that thing. It, it blinks, it's solitary lay, living eye trained upon it. One piece of data it retains, the last known location of its fleet of interceptors. Select the AI Fragment, a new search archive to transplant, translate the information about interceptor crash sites to your starship. So, in theory, working this thing I should find an interceptor right away and for fuck's sake I believe I have there you go no messing around not trying to decode anything no just go to the freaking uh, thing and that's it that is that is nice if you're interested in mining you don't have to buy a mining ship or anything like that if you want to just focus on making money by mining resources well 
just go shoot them and there mining your fuel <laughs> yeah that's nice anyway let's jump towards that yeah everything if you see it it has a marker or even if you don't you just press on warp and it will fly towards that as I fly I'm using fuel yes and that you can restock here what is it I'm using oh that's the stuff that I'm using okay yeah I just recharge that technology so this will allow you to uh, find a lot of these ships a lot faster if you just want to go exploring like I'm doing now right uh, I just okay let's check this thing out oh it looks interesting man it's yeah it's a nice looking ship let's go check that thing out I already have a brain for it What is it, like black and gold? That is pretty badass. What class is this thing? C class, yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, so we have this stuff here. So all I have to do, and it, it should be easy peasy upgrading. It should be pretty straightforward. I have to just, oh, I have my, my freighter. It's not even in the system, oh, but I have the long range thing. Ah, oh, great. Um, so I'll drop these things here. Go freighter there. Claim ship. Okay, so the brain was fine, was it? Uh, well, I don't even remember why I touched over there. Uh, claim ship. Add ship to collection. I will do just that, I believe, good sir. It is a Damn, I, hey, in case you're interested in finding this thing, let me show you the, the location. What is it I have to do here? Photo mode, is it? There you have the glyph for it. Glyph for a pretty badass looking ship, if I may say so myself. Um, it's not a big deal. I, that's, that's like a gray and gold color. I really like that. That is, that is damn nice. That is super cool. It's not super unique, I've seen these before, and not in this color though. Uh, I don't like so much that it, it kind of blocks a little bit of the... Well, yeah, everything is blocked now, but... Let me just check that. Yeah, I don't even have to worry about my own ship. My ship will be just fine. I can just claim it at any moment. That's all good. Um, it's So it's C-Class, but you can upgrade it. And it's simple enough to upgrade once you... Oh, that looks nice. That is, that is very nice. Let's go check. Let's, I fucking love this. How can you not love this game? It's everything that Star Citizen is not. Everything that we we've been promised for years. It, you have it here. Yeah, that's a, a weird color that I'm getting from that star. Uh, but no, yeah. Like, let's not. Let's not worry. I don't like so much that you see how it blocks a lot. Uh, on the top there, K Shard, my other ship, does not do that for me. So, and I don't have anything. I don't think I have. Well, I probably have the scanner. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep this thing or not. Maybe for a while. Doesn't seem to be super. Yes, yes, you can check it out. Moving around. Ah, uh, I don't have anything weird here going on. It's your your basic Sentinel ship. The colors seem to be nice. And I like the way it looks there on the back. Let's jump towards that planet. I want to check anyway. Unstable planet. What is that? That's a that's a rainy one. Overgrown. I saw rainy. Oh, that's the pretty one. Yeah, that's a rainy planet. That looks Earth-like. All day long. High sentinel activity. Yeah, that kind of sucks. High sentinel activity will be a pain in the ass. Uh, but it's probably going to be a very paradise-like. Not quite paradise planet, but yeah. Very good looking little planet right there. Let's go see how it looks. And let's show the glyph in case you want to jump to that thing with a portal as well. Yeah, you can hotkey. Yeah, I think it's Alt and whatever you want, whatever number you want, but you can hotkey your. So it has to jump from one to the other. Alright, let's go there. Find a little bit of a nice place. 
It looked pretty blue from the outside. Sometimes you have to actually land on these things, and they don't have any of it. Well, the water looks very nice. Yeah, let's fly our. Let's do what we can no longer enjoy <laughs> in in our in the Star Citizen. Let's let's just fly around a little bit and have that wavy water. Damn, that's cool. So it's all like mushroomy kind of. Now I'm getting a better idea of the color of this thing. One of the things I like about the Sentinel ships, they land pretty quickly. You don't have a lot of, of, of messing around, you know what I mean? That is nice. That's a nice that's a nice combination. It's a little bit like black purple, I believe. Right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like it? Kind of sucks. That is a nice view that you have there. Pretty. That's a pretty combination. And hell, it's a sentinel ship, right? You really can go wrong with these things a lot, not more, uh, a lot, not at least not much. Um, if I want to bring all my other stuff, well, it's all in my other ship, no problem whatsoever. I'm not wasting time. I just go back here, check my ships, bring my K shard. And yes, these are other sentinels. Let's bring those all, all along as well. Do a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, of, of a sentinel ship. This one is also very pretty. This is nice too. And I'll bring my other one. I would like to see ability of keeping more ships. Or you know what would be cool? Uh, and Hello Games, if you're listening, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't believe you. It would be cool to have it like stored maybe not instant access like in your 12 ships but you can access it eventually you know uh store somewhere in your in your fleet maybe part of your fleet that would be pretty badass maybe part of your squadron that would be even better but yeah i like the way this one looks that is still my favorite the white black and red that is a, a nice looking ship this one is also very like racy, very cool looking. But as I was saying before, this one has the, uh, the advantage of when you're on the inside, you have a lot more visibility. You see what I mean? Tons of visibility. On these things, these ones, which one is it? This is the, the one I just got. So this one is similar to that one. This one, oh, oh crap, I got out of it. Let's teleport back inside. This one is blocked. A lot of that top part is blocked. It still looks uh, cool on the inside, you know, just looking around, looks pretty nice as a, as a single-seater, interesting-looking ship. Um, I still like the way it looks, and I like the tiny one over there. That tiny one is also a, a it's so so different from the other ones. I don't even know where I got that thing. Yeah, life support is dying here. I have to get more oxygen here in my, my suit. Uh, but this one is also nice in terms of it being weird and tiny, you know, that's that's also cool. And it that <laughs> opens up and you look around. And this one is, I don't know if I got an S-Class or I upgraded it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, lots of, yeah, I use this one. This is a, a nice fighter, man. That's a nice fighting little ship. Uh, maybe not the best one, but it's, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Sometimes it's nice. Guys! Just beautiful game getting better and better and better instead of sucking more and more each new patch. See you later. Take care.